Well, welcome uh, to uh, another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 116. Or I was just amusing that uh, this is actually the 11th video of year three. So we're making some progress, and I think we have a pretty good project today. We're going to be making a, a desk. It can be a writing desk, a study desk, a kid's desk, a teenager's desk, a small desk. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, just a nice little uh, compact desk. I think it's going to be a pretty good project. But we're not going to get anything done. We're not going to get any projects done unless we do what we need to get uh, to work. So let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. It's kind of a little chalk sketch of what I envision. It's going to have a five foot uh, top on it here, uh, a little cabinet here with a file drawer, a small drawer, and a just a shelf right under here. And a pencil drawer here, and we'll have tapered legs. Let's I've already uh, cut out part of my stock and uh, uh, started to construct the table jig. What I'm doing now is working on this, uh, on the cabinet part with the drawers. Let's go look at a little picture of that. There's a side view of the, of the desk or the front front view. Uh, it's a little, uh, going to be a little pencil drawer underneath the uh, tabletop. This is just going to be a little ledge right under the tabletop. Then we'll have a small drawer and a file drawer. So what I'm doing now is uh, putting in the dados for these uh, two drawers. Here's the carcass. I'll be putting a dado in here another dado in here and then all along this inside corner here I'll be putting a rabbit to receive the back. I put the dado in over here now I need to put the dado in over here. Now you'd think that maybe I would put all the dados and rabbits in this piece over here and then go over here and put them in this one but I want the setups to be exactly so I gotta switch between pieces so that I can use the same setup. Well, here's a rabbit we just did. And the back will go right into that slot just like that. I'm holding that, kind of holding this thing together with a clamp because I, I gotta I gotta make sure these uh, these joints are perfect. Sometimes joints don't have to be perfect but I'm gonna be putting the, the legs on these things. Okay, the front of course doesn't have a rabbit on it and it's inside inside the frame piece here. Now that we made up the, the uh, trim then will come out to the edge of that uh, frame piece there. But now what we have to do is we have to fill these uh, dados with uh, with our uh, drawer dividers. Okay, here's a piece uh, of scrap I got to fit perfectly in that in that slot right there. Let me show you what I'm going to do with it. In this particular case, I want those uh, dados to fit really tight. So I'm actually using this uh, board here to measure my uh, measure that distance. With the tight fit, the glue and the clamping pressure, I probably don't even need any brads, but I'm going to fire them in anyway out of force of habit. Okay, I 
just have a little bit of little trim work to do on this uh, box no big deal and then we'll get up here and uh, put the uh, legs on it okay we're uh, cutting the base first thing we need to do is cut our stock uh, this configuration out the angles are going the same way second step is to mark where you think that uh, angles uh, where it's going to be just like for normal trim next step you set it on the uh, chop saw and setting that angle flat on the surface of the chop saw in this case we're just cutting we're cutting 45 so I just set my chop saw to 45 And there I got my splayed angles. The next step is to attach it. I use pocket screws, but you don't have to. You can, you can just attach it with uh, nails or brads, screws. Well, there's a little case with the little splayed angle base. We've got the file drawer, a bigger drawer, and the top shelf there. And the desk will come off of that. Let's see how it fits in the jig. This uh, cabinet here, this cabinet won't be connected the cabinet here won't be connected to the uh, desktop it's just going to fit down in that slot okay I guess we can start uh, working on the uh, table jig we're going to be building this thing from the bottom up which means that I need if I got any work I need to do to the top I need to do it now so what I'm going to do is disassemble this in, this entire uh, uh, shooting match here uh, and sand down and put an edge on this top uh, before we start building. What we're going to do is we're going to be building this thing uh, we're going to assemble it from the bottom up and so the first first part is the uh, top and we're going to stain our various parts as we make them I got the top and the assembly jig all ready to go but before we do any assembly we got we got to make the drawers for the cabinet and we got to taper those legs Okay, let's, uh, let's work on the drawer fronts before we uh, tackle those tapered legs. Here I'm making the drawer fronts for our two drawers. I'm, I'm going to, I'm using the same material and the same design as we use for the tabletop so it'll be consistent. Or the desktop. Putting these, uh, putting these brads right in the center. Let's let our uh, uh, drawer fronts uh, the glue dry a little bit and let's work on the uh, legs. Here's the stock for our legs. Um, one thing we got we got to get right and we, it can't be wrong and that is the height of the legs. Uh, 
the height of the legs have to be exactly the height of the top of this uh, cabinet here. And this is the tapering jig. It's basically just a, um, a piece of three quarter inch plywood with a, a two before um, attached to it at the angle that I want the legs tapered. So now I undog this thing. Now I take my little wedge, I take my little wedge and put it back into the place I just cut out, flip the thing over, and put it back in the put it back in the jig. And there's my tapered leg. It's tapered on. It's tapered on the inside. See, the this is still a uh, still flat on the outside, but on the inside, it's tapered. Well, there's the drawer fronts all installed. Let's go over to our uh, table jig and uh, start putting the frame in. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking each individual piece and marking where I want the uh, pocket screws and uh, where I want it rounded over. And I'm going to do one piece at a time uh, and, and just concentrate on that uh, because there's lots of ways to fail. Okay, and so there, there's that piece right there, all done. Okay, that was done. I got about uh, ten more, uh, ten more different pieces to do. Let me do those, and uh, we'll uh, come back when something exciting happens. Oh, well, we got all our uh, frame parts made, uh, but before we attach them to the uh, tabletop let's take uh, let's take it all apart again and uh, stain all the parts but really these are the only uh, frame parts we got to uh, stain and it'd be a lot easier to stain them now than uh, and later I got all the stain, uh, all the frame pieces uh, stained. The uh, legs came out particularly nice. Uh, while we're waiting for this to dry, let's uh, let's go over and uh, stain the case. I'm about ready to wrap this thing up. Well, our little uh, flat panel doors came out uh, came out pretty good, so I was a little worried about that, but I think they're going to be all right. Let's go over and uh, start assembling the frame. I got the uh, table jig all squared up, and I put our stained pieces in there. Now we have just about uh, exactly six million pocket screws screw into the frame so we better get at it and knock off the chatter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at one end and move that way and try to keep it square. Well I got the uh, this first little section done and it's uh, dead square. What can happen is if you when you're first starting out if you 
if, if you make a little square in there, by the time you carry it all the way through, through the project, it's off an inch down at the other end. So keeping a square, particularly at the beginning, is really important. Let's take the table jig off. I thought originally I was going to tear it apart, but I think it's going to come off easy. Okay, next thing I guess we've got to install is the uh, legs. Okay, what I've got to do here is, is I've got to install this hanger bolt. Uh, it's, it's, it's got, you know, threads... Uh, like lag bolt threads on one end and then just a regular nut on the other end. It's called a hanger bolt. But it's going to go through this hole right here and be stuck into this. Well, this hole here obviously has got to be perfect. So what I do is I put a, a get my hand stopped shaking. I reach uh, through with a uh, ice pick kind of centered right in that hole and make me a mark and I know that that's where I want to drill my pilot hole. I think we've used this little jig before just two 45's cut into a piece of tube before and that way I can cut an exact 45 degrees into a piece of wood like this, which is exactly what's needed here. And our little hanger bolt just gets screwed in into our stock. Then the whole shooting match it's put together it's like this big washer lock washer and a 9 16 inch bolt so there's our little legs all installed okay ne next the uh, last mechanical work we got to do or woodworking work we got to do is we got to build a pencil drawer for this uh, area right in here so let's get to it what I'm doing here is uh, I'm making this uh, middle drawer and I'm actually using the inside of the uh, uh, tabletop here as an assembly jig for my drawer it ought to work hadn't it This is one of the easiest uh, drawer designs. Now it's not one of the easiest, it's the easiest drawer design. Um, all I do, there's no rabbits, no dados, and none, none of that stuff. You just take your plywood, your bottom, and you glue it directly to the bottom. Glue it and nail it. Well, there's our nice little, uh, nice little drawer. It's got poplars, um, poplar sides. I planed it down to uh, half inch, and it's got this um, quarter inch plywood for the bottom. Uh, super strong. Let's see if it fits. Well, it fits. Well, I got our little drawer done. It's almost uh, it's almost drum drum roll time, huh? Well, here's our whole desk, all taken apart. Let's uh, assemble it and see how that process works. Okay, let's see if we can set up our little desk. I kind of designed it so it'd be you know halfway portable.
And in theory, that uh, case is supposed to fit down inside of a So there's our little uh, little desk. Got a couple of drawers there, a little shelf, a center drawer. The top comes off, the legs come off. Pretty satisfied with it. Well, that'll do it for this edition of uh, Memphis Monday, epi uh, episode, video uh, 116, uh, making our little writing desk. Uh, I forgot to tell you, I, a couple of videos back, uh, we were working on that fence, and I used, that, used the uh, hatchet, but I forgot to, I forgot to film it. Um, but anyway... I think uh, got some uh, got some good uh, takeaways um, in a new desk design uh, and I don't know I guess that's it make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday thanks for playing along <laughs>